All right, everyone, I thought that it was time for a thank you video. I like each year I like to do sort of just a general thank you, an update on the work that's going to be going on in the subsequent year. And, you know, the year's winding down. It's getting towards the middle of November. Svart Pete will be here soon, so, you know, Santa Claus follows fairly closely. Uh, I figured that I would issue this uh, first and foremost in recognition. Uh, I've, I've hit 66,666 subscribers on BitChute. Link in the description, of course. You can follow me there if you're not already watching on that platform, a la YouTube, Daily Motion, whatever. Uh, you're seeing it on Minds posted. Uh, you should follow me there because I'm increasingly going to be investing my time and effort in platforms that are still growing, still care about their creators. And that brings me to the second point, which is at this point I've, I've come close to peaking, I think, on YouTube. I think 400K may not even happen and, and because I'm being suppressed. Um, it's not anything I'm doing. I'm growing everywhere else. I know that. It's happening to many other people. What's happened is that nobody's seeing my videos unless they already know of my videos. Unless they are literally typing in the title or my username exactly, or going to my channel directly, they don't know I exist. So nobody ever sees me in related videos. Nobody ever sees me in search. If you're searching for anything current events related especially, it is a wall of priority creators. Well, that's 90% of my content, so unless I want to switch over and do nothing but spooky paranormal videos and cats and gardening and things like that, I basically am not going to exist much on the platform to anyone who's not already following. That's fine, because I've still got a massive audience, but at the same time, that means there's all the more reason to cherish the people that are already here with me, because you are now an exclusive club, so to speak. So first and foremost, I'd like to thank everyone who's ever supported my work in any way, whether it's material or not. Even when you just like a video, when you share it somewhere off YouTube, when you, uh, any time that you interact with content, at this point, everything is so algorithmic and automated. That's a huge gift to me. It's like with people supporting my literary work. I've pointed out many times, if you buy one of my books off Amazon, I appreciate it. If you leave a positive review, I appreciate it even more because that probably means more sales in the future. That's the only way to compete is through interaction. When we are going up against astroturfed fake independent creation, which is increasingly popular now, uh, including networks basically built off that like a TikTok, and priority creators, aka celebrities of yesteryear, when we're facing off against them, the only advantage that this generation's content creation really has is much, much higher ratios of actual interaction. Like you would look at a CNN upload. Typically they'll have less comments than my uploads despite the fact that supposedly CNN is far larger and more popular. There's a reason for that and YouTube's not even a new platform. It dates to the mid 2000s. It's a big difference. Today you've got social media platforms that are less than half a decade old. You've got BitChute and you've got Minds and some of these others rising up. You've got alternatives competing now all the time. Increasingly they're foreign mainly because foreign shores now respect free expression more than the U.S. firms do, which is extremely frightening, should not be happening in any way, shape, or form, and is going to cripple the U.S.-led Internet. When people support me materially, you got to understand that one of the reasons I'm able to put so many resources and so much time and effort into what I'm doing, whether it's you know videos, literature, even shitposting on Twitter, is because I'm at leisure, because a, a large number of people are canvassing the material and supporting it. I like that better when people say, when people have asked me why I don't take ad revenue. If you take AdSense, I could probably make a couple thousand dollars a month on AdSense. I could pay the bills, so to speak, with that. The problem is threefold at this point. Number one, I've sworn for over a decade now never to take ad revenue. By the way, I'm renewing that vow. I'm not gonna enable AdSense ever. It'll never happen. Uh, if Google forces ads down my throat, that's a different story, but I'm not willing to take a cut of that because I don't believe in the ad-driven internet in principle. Number two, it inconveniences people. I use ad blocker, so why the hell would I want other people to have to deal with the ads? Number three, it's just, it doesn't make a, a sense from an efficiency standpoint as a creator. That's one company giving you a substantial proportion of your paycheck. Whereas if you are crowdfunding, especially if you're using like a subscribe star, which increasingly I think I'm making more now there than Patreon because it's a better platform overall. It's simply more functional. If I'm using that, hundreds or thousands of people individually donating means nobody can ever lay claim to my content. 
Google can lay claim to your content if you're taking AdSense. They can say, well, it's perfectly fine for us to dictate what kind of content you can or cannot make money off of, how much you make. We can seize that money anytime because that's primarily where you're getting your income. But if it's hundreds or thousands of people, if it's totally decentralized, it's totally different. No individual, no matter what they're doing, can force you to do anything or, or make you feel forced to do something. I like to take suggestions on content, but I don't want anyone having control over my creative content but me, and I'll never allow it. Uh, so yeah, this is just a quick thank you video. There are hundreds of thousands of you that I'm thanking cross-platform, so uh, I look at that as definitely a little bit more than just content creation for a hobby's sake. Uh, at this point, it's more important than that. I feel that there's something to be accomplished in the world now, and I'm sure that some of you are not as much fans of my occultism, but I believe that it's not necessarily something that the individual directs. It's just sort of a path. It's not really faded, but it's sort of led. I, I'm being led somewhere, if that makes any sense, in the political sense, uh, and, and maybe religious and spiritual framework of the world as well. Uh, and I'm glad that there are so many people along for the ride. There are times in my life, low points, where content creation of various kinds is really the only outlet that I've had and the only reason that I was able to get through <laughs> at the end of the day. Uh, under stress, I tend to work harder. So I guess uh, people who enjoy the content get to benefit from that. Just to uh, tell anyone that's new, uh, also I have a website now. There's a link in the description to that. You can check that out. If you want to see all of the sites together in one place, that's where to go. It also has the books blog updating. Uh, the, good, the Google one, the, the blogger as opposed to the WordPress. I wonder if that could be switched over. I'm not exactly sure how that form of aggregation works. And that's another thing I'd like to thank people for. Other people looking out for me have given me like heads up on tech things before. I'm a Luddite. I'm not part of the smartphone generation, although I'm probably going to get dragged into it next decade, which means in a couple of months, unfortunately. Uh, so I do need help when it comes to troubleshooting things, <laughs> when it comes to using microphones properly, as many of you have noticed, uh, when it comes to doing, well, I mean, when it comes to finding new networks to go and nest on and, and actually exist on and, and spread the material further. I'm looking for new shores now. I'm looking to colonize other platforms now. And unfortunately, the only way to do that is to interact with a tiny screen with less processing power. So it's going to be fun times ahead. Eha, I'm so excited to have to use some combination of a Crapple product or something built by Google that will sync with everything that I do, whether I want it to or not. Fun. But I want to thank all of you because at least you've stuck with me through uh, <laughs> all of the very weird times over the last over a decade. Here's to the 2020s. They'll be beginning very soon. I'm excited because I didn't get to see the last 1920s, but I, I get to see the 2020s. That's even better because it's the 20s twice. That's about all. Peace out.